What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So today we have a final review on the 1932 Ford Chopped Sedan, and this is part of Tom's appreciation build. Tom remember remember 69 that Jeff hosted for him, and um, <laughs> this is an awesome build. This is probably but this is actually my favorite hot rod I've ever done. So yeah, this is really cool. So let's go ahead and break down what we did to it. Uh, I will say uh, in this video, uh, this kit, I did not use any other kit as a donor. This is fully custom. 90% uh, was of it was 3D printed. 5% was from parts box and 5% is a different body uh, from the aftermarket company. So let's go ahead and show you what we did to it. So the body is a Jimmy Flintstone body. Some parts were from the parts box from the 29 and 30 Ford from Ravel and most of it was 3D printed. So, uh, the body is from Jimmy Flintstone, of course. Uh, this is their 32 Ford chopped sedan, of course, and uh, this is a pretty awesome body. If you know Jimmy Flintstone, you do have to do some body work. You know, you gotta cut out the flash in the windows, and there might be some extra excess f flash on the whole body, who knows, but, you know, you gotta do extra cleanup, but once you get it cleaned up, it does look pretty darn good. You know, just take a time of it, and it looks really good. Um, I did describe out the panel lines just a bit more, make them look deeper, deeper. And only modification I did to the body that this body does not offer is the cutout in the roof. Um, I cut that out, and the roof cutout is a uh, 3D printed. I call it like a window roof curtain, you want to call it, because it has like a you know the soft hot type version where it just folds back. So that looks really good. The body cover is from Splash Paints. It's uh, cinnamon stick. This is an awesome color. Um, if you if you have this cover and just spray it onto any kind of body you have, you're gonna be really pleased with it. This color just pops out. It's it's crazy how this color is. It has nice pearlescent to it out in the sun. Uh, well, we don't have sun here anymore because it's winter here in New York. But if you have sun, this color has pearlescent to it, and it looks absolutely amazing. So. And give it a nice 2K clear, give it the, you know, clear coat, 1K or 2K, your preferred, your preferred preferred, and it just looks absolutely amazing. Door handles are 3D printed. I paint them just gloss black, just kind of have that, you know, because it had the black and chrome kind of theme going on here, and I don't have too much chrome, or actually hardly any chrome on the actual body trim of the car, as mostly on the engine and stuff, but very nice, and it looks absolutely incredible. The windows are um, where are they? They're vacuum formed windows. Um, I did a video on how I do that. It's right there or in the description. Um, I did very vacuum, va vacuum forming is pretty cool and it gives it more realistic look to it and it looks really neat. Uh, the wheels and tires, again, 3D printed. Uh, these are really nice and they're just, I call them bicycle wheels because they have, you know, 50,000 spokes on them. Uh, those I just painted jet black along with the roof rack from Splash Paints and I just put on uh, two coats of 2K Clear on that. Looks really good and the hubcap is just Molotov chrome pen. And then the tires are rubber black from Tamaya. Again, I did a how-to video on that as well. It's right there or in the, descript the description. So, very cool. I love the tire package this car has or, you know, I did on this version. And also, I want the front ones and back ones to be the same width, but the back ones are just a tad bit smaller. Uh, they're, they are an inch bigger, you want know, to call it in real life scale, and back ones and the front ones are just an inch smaller. So, very cool and it looks really nice. The grill, again, 3D printed along. Uh, yeah, there's just the grill, that body cover. The headlights are from the 2934 from Avell from the parts box. Uh, those are the large headlights because those kits come with small, medium, and large headlights. These are the large ones because it kind of suits the sedan type deal going on here. And also the taillights are again from the 2934. Again, parts box. So it looks really good. So that's pretty much about it for the whole body. Let's move on to the interior. The interior is, again, all 3D printed except one little piece. Uh, the floor pan is from Miguel. So is the grill from Miguel over how it works. The floor pan is from Miguel. Um, again, 3D printed. And it, it has that huge tunnel where the transmission goes in. And that's basically the key for that for this build to get it this low. Uh, because you need that transmission to be, be basically sunk into the interior and that looks amazing The shifter again is from Miguel and also the steering wheel the steering wheel are painted in steering wheel and seats 
again 3D printed. Uh, those I painted in like a light or yeah light tan color from from Tamaya. Looks really good. I put on black seat belts because you know it's kind of modernized. You gotta put some seat belts in modern cars or you know at least, at least restored cars these days because it's kind of law. So it looks really good, and I put in the same door handles I have on out here, but inside it looks pretty good. Again, black in color, flocked the floor uh, brown, just to have that contrast, like two-tone kind of color interior. And then the back half of the car back here is uh, scratch built, just basically some styrene sheets and just scratch built it. Uh, just so it meets up with the back half and down to the floor pan, just so it doesn't have that exposed like axle and chassis back there. So. It looks really good, and a dashboard I painted in the same body color, and body color on well as well on the steering column. So, pretty so much for the interior, and also I went ahead and put some magazines back there. I put in a hot rod magazine and also a scale, uh, what was it, a scale auto or something, it's kind of, some kind of modeling magazine back, back there as well, because they're, you know, they're taking this car to shows, you know, he needs something to keep him entertained while he's just, you know, waiting there all day. So very cool. So the interior is pretty nice and looks fantastic. And I love this body because it comes with molded in door door panels. So you don't have to make your own door panels. And I painted those in just brown. So very cool. The interior is very nice and yeah, looks really cool. Chassis, now on the side, I just basically did all body color. The axle, drive shaft, pretty much everything under there is body color. So nothing too special on there. Uh, just the springs are chrome, and that's pretty much it. I think that was his body color and that main chassis again, body color. So, I just kind of want to be that clean body color look to it, and it looks you know, keep it clean and not too overwhelmed with different colors down there. And that's basically what these people do when they build these hot rods you just paint it all one color because it just looks more cleaner and you know, not as blown with black and just some random colors out there. So, very cool chassis, pretty much pretty simplified. The front axle, again, I did these in chrome because it's kind of exposed. So, figured did that in chrome and that looks really good. The brakes, again, in chrome, just give it that contrast look and it looks really good. Ah, the engine, this very cool engine. Again, this whole engine is 3D printed except the Vasky stacks, the radiator hose, and the button pulleys. Uh, the button pulleys is from Parts by Parks, aluminum button pulleys. The radiator hose is from um, I, <laughs> um, tech, uh, I something. I'll put a picture in your screen. I've totally forgot the name of that, um, company. And then the Vasi Stacks is from Detail Master. So, very cool. And it looks really good. And everything now it's, it's 3D printed on the engine. Uh, to the valve covers, to the exhaust, to the block itself. Everything else is 3D printed. To the distributor. The distributor wires is from Gopher Racing. So, that's pretty much about it for the aftermarket on the engine. Uh, the exhaust, I did some kind of heat shield on the exhaust. Um, basically what that is, is just band-aid. I just use a band-aid and just cut it in slices and it gives it that nice heat shield, like heat effect to it. And it looks really good if you really look at it and it just, it really looks really good. The main engine block, I painted in the same body color, just, you know, because it's, it's exposed. Why not? And it put on two coats of that. And there's some chrome on here. Uh, just in case you're wondering, the chrome is from Outclad. This is basically my go-to chrome. It looks more realistic than any other chrome I tried out there. Um, the Outclad really works for me. I know some people have some tr issues with it because, you know, sometimes it peels for them or whatever. But for me, I've been using it for a while and it works for me somehow. So, and it looks the best for me. <laughs> so, uh, that, all the chrome is Outclad, just in case you're wondering. And the radiator is 3D printed as well with a electric fan, so looks really good. But other than that guys, that's it for this build. Tom, I really hope you enjoyed this build and I actually really enjoyed doing this build. It, this is actually a really slick build. I've been wanting to do a hot rod sedan for a while and finally got a chance to and this thing looks pretty darn cool, I'm not gonna lie. So this will be going to some shows. If you're going to NNL East 2024, this will be there. This is actually one of the themes for that show. So I uh, can't wait to just take this there and um, see with everybody else's hot rods. It just looks so cool. And the colors, I think the color combo on this thing 
looks stunning with this dark, you know, brownish, orangey color, you know, the sim stick with the black outline, you know, on the wheels and on the trim and stuff. It looks really good and I'm I'm really pleased on how how this one turned out. Good build to end the year 2023 and we'll start fresh next year. But all right guys, that's it for this video. Tom, I hope you like it and I will be sending you some gifts. Um, I'll be taking some pictures and I'll be sending you some good pictures and a few extra parts that I did not use on this build. But all right guys, until my next video, I'll catch you next time. Take it easy.